Welcome to Commodity Analysis on Thursday the 4th of April and the free mini S&P commentary. Uh, it's about uh, just under half an hour since the uh, Wall Street Open and we've seen a spike in price. Uh, let's just have a look. If you remember, these are the same charts as a continuity to these uh, videos. If you watch from the beginning, you'll see as price develops and moves through this matrix of, of lines, you may think it's a bit clustered. If we drop down to lower time frames, all these are significant supporting or resisting reaction lines. Everything in red is a reaction line. Everything in black is a median line. This is the big black median line that carried price higher along with the reaction line um, which isn't seen here but it's let's just show you there's the big reaction line that carried price higher and you can see it bounce one two three four five and then the pattern broke yesterday we failed to make a higher high here and down we went into this fork and let's just have a look at it uh, just so you can all see uh, there's a couple of big forks drawn in here just in case things uh, really do go uh, to pieces here you can see the reaction line that carried price higher. We've had a retracement. We've made a lower low from here uh, in the low 40s. Let's just go back and have a look at this chart here uh, and this one here. In fact, this is the one I want to show you. This this last uh, four-hour bar, this last uh, since the opening, this spike down uh, onto. Excuse me. Let's just move that down. This is the gap fork. Uh, this fork is always worth drawing. Uh, prices let's have a look at the 30 minute and drop the size down here you can see always acts as a base any horizontal fork you can draw acts as a good support area you can see here this is where we're heading to this is the sharpest angle you can draw we can drop it forward take it onto this pivot here and it gives you around the high 50s we have a horizontal reaction line from fork number six here but we are either going to make or break with this fork today we need to reach 1559 around the 1559 if we have a problem and we can't get through this black fork it will act as resistance and that also brings into play this area here which is the confluence of our big median line that's carried price help support price and bring it higher and this down sloping fork drawn off these pivots here and also the center line of this mini fork which I've drawn in the one hour so it remains to be seen price I still think looks vulnerable we're uh, obviously out of the market at the moment ahead of tomorrow's uh, big data release non-farm payrolls price seems to have within the first half an hour recovered this is coming up to the 618 if you draw uh, just a simple fib the 618 is around this area so 1560 is a big area to watch today and we'll see how price copes with this area here whether this sort of bar movement these large long-range bars continue in which case that would be quite bullish and let's just have a look there you go looking at the 240 minute that's a lovely pinhead candle we need to see this take out this high here of the previous bar and we'd be looking for 1560 1561 and then to see what happens to price then more to come thank you